Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, and this time, Chandelier. An amazing, amazing song, and uh, I'm gonna play you the arrangement first so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, chord by chord, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so before we start breaking it down and showing you how you can play this yourself, I would like to remind you of the big giveaway that's going on right now on Lick and Riff because Lick and Riff is collaborating with none other than Fiverr. Yep, Fiverr wants to give some of you Lick and Riffers some sweet Fiverr credit to use on the Fiverr marketplace. And that's amazing because not only is Fiverr responsible for the sweet animated intro at the beginning of this video and the new Lick and Riff banner and all the designs on the new Lick and Riff t-shirt store, um, they want to give you Fiverr credit so you can use it and hire some freelancers on Fiverr yourself. So if you click the link below in the description, uh, this affiliate link will tag you as a Lick and Riffer so they know you came through me. And at the end of June, they will raffle some Fiverr credit among uh, a few Lick and Riffers. And uh, in the meantime, browse the freelance marketplace of Fiverr. And it's just incredible. You can hire freelancers there for very affordable prices for anything you need for your business, for your life, for your social media needs anything from uh, media writing to creative writing to business logos to uh, company logos to book design to book narration to graphic design to video editing to game design even to SEO to WordPress uh, coding anything you need is available on Fiverr just go search uh, I can't it will take me the whole video just to describe what's possible through Fiverr. So go check it out yourself. So thank you very much, Fiverr. And uh, you go click the link below, enter the raffle to win some Fiverr credit, and let's start the lesson. So you start with B minor, okay? And uh, I like to start with the bass, okay? Just the bass, the two on the fifth string. And then it's just twos on the first string. It's just the chord. Okay, so if you want to make this interesting, just sprinkle in some chord notes in the in the middle of the beginning. Okay, just the third string would do. You can go, you know, you can take it, 
even further and just interpeggiate the chord. But I think it's unnecessary here because uh, she's the song begins with her singing. So. Okay, so this is enough in my opinion. Just bass and then chord and then you just continue playing the E string. Okay, just sprinkle in an extra note or two in between. Okay, and then it's still two but with your forefinger. Okay, it's the same rhythm but it's two, two, zero, zero and then the open E string for four or five more notes. Um, depending how close you want to get to the lyrics themselves. Um, that, that's your, depending on your own style, of course, but the important thing is that we're playing a G major 7 chord. So it's the fourth finger on, uh, on the first string on 2, and the second finger on 3 on the bass string. So this is G major 7, if you play strings 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay? Even if you just play strings 1 and 6, it's G major 7, but if you just play both of them, it's a little bit weird. So if you play the whole chord, you get the major seven sound. So that's the second leg. Okay, and you can harmonize okay, strings one and two. Okay, just for variation purposes. Um, and then you have a sus two. Okay, now you can play A. Okay. But I prefer the A sus 2 sound. Okay, because that is a B note. And it's inside the B minor chord, obviously, because it's B. And it's inside the G major 7 uh, chord, it's inside G. So if I take A sus 2, okay, and play the second string open, then it gives me a kind of a motif, a sound motif between all three chords. Okay, so you can play A. Okay, but don't change between the two because it sounds weird. Choose whether you would like to play A or A sus 2 and stick to one. Okay, so it's just, um, again, just open E strength. And you play the, the chord with the second E strength. Okay, ta -ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta, and then three on the first string. And then it's F sharp minor. Okay, just the chord. Okay, two on the first string, that's your melody note again. So bar on two, E minor shape. Okay, and that's just the chord. You just play it once and you're done. Now, you can also play some harp harmonics if you if you'd like to, okay, just to sprinkle in some uh, some finger style magic, okay. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I have a whole lesson on harp harmonics, so uh, it's step by step teaching you the technique. So, okay, you can just do harmonics. You don't you don't even have to do the harp effect, okay. So um, again, depending on your own style, just as you feel in the moment. You play this twice, that's the verse, and then you have the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus starts with G, and then you have uh, B minor again. So it's the same line. It's three zero zero three zero 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 on the second string. Okay? With G. And then with B minor, so I don't bar. Okay, because I want the open string. I will show you why in a second. Okay, now you can do this. Okay, you can do strings two, three, three, two, three, three, three. Yeah, that's the last note. Two, three, three, two, three, three, three on B minor. But that just sounds as if you're arpeggiating a chord. Doesn't sound like you're playing a solo. That's why I open the second string instead. Okay, and that also gives you the added effect of this. Um, it's a unison. It strings uh, two and three playing the same note. Okay, now if your guitar is a little bit detuned, just a little bit, you're gonna hear a chorus effect. Okay, which is nice. I like this sound. 
Some people don't, but I do. Okay, so... Okay, um, so that's the, that's the reasoning behind it. Okay, so G and B minor, same thing. And then you have A. Okay, it's just twos on the second string. It's just the note on the second string, the C sharp. Okay, so it's... And then again. Okay, it's still A. Okay? Um, and then it's 2032 two on the second string. So you can solo it. So it's... Okay, you can have the chord on or you can solo it. Okay, and just mute the chord. Okay, just to give you a dramatic pause before you go to the chorus. So, okay, a dramatic pause. Um, so that's the pre-chorus. Now the chorus. 10 on the first string with strings two, three, and four. Okay, this is G. Okay, it's G over D. Okay, because we don't have the low G uh, bass. Okay, you can hammer it on if you want. Okay, and then you have um, okay, 7, 10. And then you have this A chord. Okay, it's a D shape on 9, so it's 9, 10, 9 with the 5th string. Okay, so it's G. Okay, and then you have A. Okay, you don't have to hammer on the note, I'm just kidding. Um, it sounds great. Okay, like this. Um, and then you have this. Um, okay, seven on the first string, ten on the second string. So, okay, you can pull off to it. And then you have this. Okay, so it's seven, seven on the second string and the third string. Bar. And you have the open D string. This is a D chord. It's part of the, okay, the D bar. So it's seven, seven, zero on two, three, and four. And then, okay, it's, um, it's eight, 10 on the, uh, the second string. And then it's 10 on the first. So it's, um, okay. Uh, now there's no real way to pretty it up. Okay, unless you mute the chord right before the last note. Okay, and then play the bass again. Okay, because if you don't, it would sound like this. Okay, and this is is it's not a, it's not really a D chord. It's more of a D5 chord, and that's not the sound you want. So I mute the the chord right before the last note. Okay, and then I play it. Okay, I play it along with 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, or I, or I just... Okay, I vibrate it. Okay, or play it with 7-7. Seven, seven. Or play it with 7-7 seven, seven and then vibrate. Okay, and then you have... Okay, you have G again. You have 7-7-7 seven, 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 and you have the open... Um, the open strings, 2, 3, and 4 again. And then you have 10, uh, sorry, 9, 10. Okay, 7, 7, 7, 9, 10, and then 15. Okay, so. And then you can play it again, or you can play the other variation of it. Okay, an octave lower. It's G with 3 on the second string, and then 0, 3. And then you have A with two zero on the second string, and then two on the third. Okay, so it's okay. Now you can slide the three to two if you want. Okay, and just play the bass. Um, and then you have the same ending. Okay? 
And then you have uh, G again with three on the second string. And then zero, three. And then you have A with the open E string. Okay? Then you have three on the second string. Open E string. Okay, you can slide into the three. And then you have D over F sharp, which is D with your thumb on two on the bass. And you have two zero on the E string, three three on the B string. And then you have G uh, major seven again. Okay, so it's two two on the E string into a G major seven. And then zero on the E string, three three on the B string. And then you play the second variation again. Then you have the bridge or post chorus. Um, it's G again with threes on the second string. Okay. Okay. I play the chord on the second uh, on the second note, and then you have. Okay. It's more threes, and then two zero on the second string with A and two on the third. So you can slide again. Okay, you can also pull off. Okay, so. And then you have a uh, scale. Okay, two on the third, uh, zero, two, three on the second, open first. And then you have D or D over F sharp. Okay, exactly the same line as before, two, zero on E, three, three on B. And then the same line with G. Okay, exactly the same line, the scale, and then from two, you have the same line, but with G. And then again, you have everything, G, and then A, D, you can play the F sharp bass afterwards, that's a nice effect. And then... That kind of leads you into G, so it's okay, it's D F sharp G. It's it's a nice bass move if you want. And then you just repeat the G line, and then you start the song again, or you finish there. That's it. So. Go download the tab for free. The link is below in the description, right next to the Fiverr link that will get you into the huge Fiverr raffle, the Fiverr Lick and Riff giveaway. So um, thank you so much for watching. Go download the tab, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you in the next lesson and uh, enjoy. Bye for now.